All right, so on my Canvas homepage, you can see after importing it from Commons, I have the Back to School Night Info template for the course. So I'm gonna click on the title to open it up. And then I'm gonna click on Edit to edit the announcement. And everything that's in blue needs to be edited. So put your own name and your own course here in this table, this list, all of your classes that you're teaching and at what time they are during back to school night. We all know that parents don't always show up in our course in person and back to school night at the right time. So this is just a way to help parents. They will have the schedule from their student, but then they could also compare to this to make sure that they're in the right place at the right time. So you're going to replace it with the different courses that you teach and then if you are not teaching that period I just put an NA. Then I'm going to scroll down. This is where we are going to place our video and the link to the video but I'm going to skip that for just a second. Down here at the bottom you will go ahead and add in your email address if you prefer another way for parents to contact you, maybe you want them to leave you a voice message, you can put your voicemail number here. So um, feel free to edit that to meet your needs, but do not delete this. We want to make sure that we are letting parents know how to contact us. Now, um, in this box, I'm going to delete the text but I'm going to keep that box. This is where I'm going to put my Loom screencast. So I have gone to the website loom.com. So whether you have it downloaded on your computer or whether you are using the Chrome extension, if you go to the website loom.com, you will have access to your videos. I'm going to choose this video that I created last um, school year. And I just want to ensure right here that I'm going to check the privacy. It says the link sharing. Only people with the link can see the video. So it's not totally private, but um, parents can see it when I have this video. And I am not adding a password. I want to make it super easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to go back to my Canvas page, and I'm going to put link to video. I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to click on the hyperlink, which looks like a chain. And I'm going to paste that link to the video. Now I also am going to embed the video. I want parents to just see the video right here. So I'm going to go back to Loom. And underneath the video, you will see that there is an arrow that kind of curves and points to the right. When I hover over it, it says share. I'm going to click on that share and I have embed as an option. I'm gonna click embed. I'm gonna make it responsive and I'm gonna just make sure I copy that code by clicking the blue button. I'm gonna go back to Canvas and I have my cursor above the link that I just made. And now what I'm going to do is next to the chain link in the uh, menu up above, there's something that kind of looks like a, um, a roll of film or like negatives with a um, play button in the middle. If I click on that, and um, that's the insert edit media feature. I click on that. I'm gonna click in the middle here, the middle tab that's embed, and then I'm going to paste the embed code that I copied from Loom. And then I'm gonna say okay. And it made the video fit within the box, and underneath there's a link to the video, because sometimes things get wonky with embedding um, on if you're looking at it on certain devices. So I'm just going to double check. Everything looks okay. I've changed everything. I added my video. I added the link. Down at the bottom, I added my email. Now, down at the bottom, before I press save, I'm going to click delay posting and options. And if you want to set things up in advance, you can set this up today and have it not post to your announcements until Monday the 14th. So where it says post at, I'm going to click on the calendar. I'm going to choose the 14th, and I'm going to choose 8 p.m. So I'm going to type in 8 p.m. and say done. And what this is going to do is it's going to prevent my announcement from posting until the night before back to school night at 8 p.m. That way, it's hopefully going to be the last announcement on your announcements page. You just want to make sure that this announcement is displayed on your home page. If you post it a week in advance, you might be adding multiple other announcements throughout the next week, 
and then it will hide that back to school day announcement. So that's why we're delaying posting till September 14th at 8 p.m. If you want, you can turn on allowing users to comment. If you want them to ask questions or things like that, you could always do that, but that's up to you. Everyone will see those comments. I'm just gonna leave that blank and I'm gonna press save. Now what I wanna do is this is kinda like my preview of what it's gonna look like. I am going to press play. Make sure I can hear everything. I'm gonna click link to video, make sure it opens and that I can see the video. Um, you might want to try it in an incognito window, so I'm going to copy that link, and on a Chrome, I'm going to press Control-Shift-N, or Command-Shift-N if I have a Mac, paste the link there, just because I was logged into Loom on the other page. If I go to an incognito, it makes sure that it's actually publicly viewable, it looks good, I can see it here. And so now what I'm going to do, back into Canvas, after I've tested all my links, down at the very bottom of the screen in small text, it says this content of this announcement will not be visible to users until September 14th at 8 p.m. So everything looks great. If I go to my home page, you will notice that there are no announcements left on my home page. That's because it is not viewable until the 14th. And again, the reason we want to wait until the 14th is so that it doesn't get buried. You only have three announcements showing on your home page max. And so we don't want you to add a bunch of things. We want to make sure that parents can find the announcement on the top of your home page on back to school night. If you need to go in and make any edits, you will find your announcement in the announcement section in your left menu. And I actually have to, um, it right here. Let's see. So if I click on it and open it up, we can again view that and make any changes if you press edit.